these compressors and limiters would remix our music where you wanted those soft passages, they would be sucked up to full modulation and then as this, the rest of the gang came in, it would pump back again and you'd feel this remixing effect and that's what really uh, drove me on to start really putting this discriminate idea together. The BA6As, which was one of my favorite limiters, it had such a sweet sound when you drove into it. Um, its AGC action would take place just before the output amp would clip and anything the AGC missed, the line amp would take it off, so it was a very tight limiter. And I found by taking the three pull techs and uh, just paralleling their inputs, then take the outputs, feed it to three BA6As, and then parallel those outputs, and uh, I finally found curves that you wouldn't feel any compression, but you could really build up a lot of power. So if you had uh, six or eight guys out there in the room, you could just make it you know, just really sound full and big and you didn't worry as you look at the console the singer sometimes would lean in on the mic or lean back you didn't feel a thing maybe a slight timber change but it just held the mix together and uh, it, it helped build quite a reputation for me because I don't think anybody understood what I th they call it the dynamite rack or something like that uh, what that was all about but uh, it really just very straightforward parallel system the pull techs were great. They allowed me to uh, play around and, and find settings that uh, you know would s cross over. So the the idea that these channels would mask one another. You know, or these uh, limiters just an AC voltage regulator, and it's you know stupid. It just sees something and 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 backward modulates. But if you play around with the crossovers, you can finally get where say a low frequency a portion of a voice or an instrument may cause the low compressor to squeeze down but it's leaking through the other two and it's not causing control and they help mask uh, the one that's controlling so you could see sloppy levels on the board but you could look over at the ampex and they're just right up there and uh, it, you know sounding great too no no processing effect so it was a, a great discovery and especially for a you know kid engineer who's at that time, that's all I wanted to do all my life was just mix.